Morning, folks. <laughs> Keep them in line with uh, uh, fruit and scents like that. This one here is uh, from an, uh, frozen lemon ice. And this one here is from Wet the Face. And you can kind of tell right up here it says uh, tart lemons. It is tart. It, uh, it's got some menthol to it. This is a very soft soap. Uh, my nose, you know, sometimes, you know, when some folks pick up lemon scent, they relate it to cleaning products. I don't, my nose doesn't pick that up. Uh, this, this is an awesome scent. It's great. I love that scent. Anyway, I've got the uh, aftershave here from Sterling. This one here is Lemon Chill and it's glacial. So we're keeping in line with the, uh, the frozen part of it, if you will. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be a great shave, that's for sure. Uh, I've got it whipped up here in the uh, fine accoutrements uh, lathering bowl here with a Carl Monk House. This uh, particular brush came, by the way, of uh, Heritage Collection. It's got a, a cashmere knot in it. It This whipped up in no time. It's great lather. Look at that. Sometimes, you know, uh, it just amazes me how quick some, uh, sometimes uh, it'll whip up real quick with a particular brush. This one here did great. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning and I used a pre-shave oil. Uh, pre-shave oil that I used uh, this morning was uh, from Maggard's and this one here is Sweet Orange. And Shaver of the Day. This one here is a Gillette Slim. It is a 1962 model. H3, in other words, uh, three quarter for the three. H for, for 1962. Got a link down below for date codes if you're interested in looking at that sort of thing. And uh, you can kind of tell it uh, has not been restored, replated, or anything of the sort. Uh, the numbers may be kind of hard to tell on the camera. A lot of the paints come off of it. And it's got some pitting on the top, but still shaves just fine. And I'm going to work with uh, uh, setting number nine there. You might be able to see it. A lot of the paint's already missing off of it. Blade of choice today. Still rocking the uh, Gillette 7 o'clock. This one here, the uh, Super Platinum. Black pack, if you will. Go ahead and wet the face and get started here. Um, my intentions are is to go to all three, pay, pay, uh, all three <laughs> passes with uh, setting number 9. But we'll see how it works out. I might change my mind part way through it. That's one of the neat things about... Uh, adjustable razors that uh, if you decide part way through your shave you want to adjust the aggression level it's pretty easy to do um, not only that for me uh, shaving with a piece of history is um, I really do enjoy that sort of thing for me the lemon just smells fantastic in the morning and it's going to have a bit of a menthol to it so it's going to be nice and cooling. Temperatures are supposed to be inching another way up in the 80s this week. Along with still chances of rain. <laughs> I did uh, get out to mow my lawn yesterday evening. You know, the ground was wet. The grass was wet. It was trying to rain on me while I was trying to get uh, get it all taken care of. I did get finished. I think it was just spitting on me just because it could. It smells wonderful. Like I say, for me, I, my nose picks up lemon. I don't pick up a cleaning product like, you know, that's my nose. Here we go. Setting number nine. I'll have a link down below. Tim Shaves, he was uh, using his Gillette Slim. He can speak to his experience with his uh, Gillette Slim. It is, uh, they are vintage. <laughs> they haven't been made in a while. In other words, this is, uh, what, 59 years old on its way to 60. And so they've been used a moment. Like, say, this one here has been restored, adjusted, or anything of the sort. So, uh, over time, they might come out of adjustment. And I've been contemplating over the years about having 
some of my uh, shavers replated. And this one here just might be one of them. I might, uh, I guess you might say, take a chance on to see how it turns out. For me, there is a, a bit of a blade feel on setting 9, which is the highest setting for this particular shaver. Uh, settings go 1 through 9, in other words. And uh, the blade feel is there. I don't feel like it's over the top. It would be, in my opinion, about where you, I guess you might say most folks would probably want a setting 9. It's not over the top. It's not a setting I don't think most people would avoid using from time to time. I don't know that some would use the doll three passes like I do, but uh, in other words, they might adjust downwards at some point in time or reverse depending on which way you're going with your shave. Uh, for me, I've always thought uh, the idea that if I ever want to go uh, minimalistic in my shaving den and seriously narrow down the number of DEs that I have, uh, adjustable would be the way to go. And since I really do enjoy shaving with a piece of history, uh, yeah, the vintage ones uh, rank high on the list on keeping in the den. To me, there it's just nothing. The stories that this shaver could uh, tell, uh, it's been through a little bit over the years. I have, uh, in, the, in the future, I am going to do a video with some of these uh, razors I picked up from uh, uh, Razor Refresh. And uh, i thinking this is where I'm going to send this one. Just a moment. I think I need to go see what the fur babies are barking about. Razor Refresh has a... Uh, they offer, I'll put a link down below, they offer a service, <laughs> they offer a service to um, refresh some of the uh, vintage razors as well as some of the modern ones. Seems like that's a good place for me to send this one to because the rates are reasonable and I never have done it before and I don't know how much money I really want to put into a vintage razor having to replace it when it shaves just fine the way it is it's just but after a while it's probably going to need to be touched up help keep the corrosion down and whatnot you do what you can you know when you clean up after your shaves and but I like to try to preserve it as long as I can for the next 60 years in other words Definitely got this whipped up on the wet side. I still got some water coming out of it, out of the brush. It smells great. <laughs> I, I really do like the lemon. I have used a lemon, Derby lemon shaving cream before. I like that scent too. Just enough blade feel. It's, um, in my opinion, it's just about right for me. Just enough to let you there know that it's there, not over the top, and still afford you the uh, enough settings down below if you wanted to dial down the aggressiveness. Other shaves that I've had with the, uh, the Gillette Slam and the Fat Boy on setting 9, I don't ever feel that at the end of the shave that my uh, that this setting is uh, too much for all three passes. Seems to work well for me. On occasion, uh, like say from a previous shave, 
sometimes like with a straight razor or a shave at shave I get my pressure and angle off or something of the sort so even though I didn't end up with any weepers necks or cuts or anything like that sometimes my neck's a little sore uh, it, uh, it is nice to be able to use a, a shaver like an adjustable where you can you know against the grain pass you might want to dial it down a few notches Take it easy on the neck after it had, had, a, had an aggressive shave the day before. My neck is feeling pretty good right now. We'll see what the Allen Block has to say. This is Crown King, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, complete with our band this morning. It's been a while, I think, since I said that. Um, don't think I'm going to have much stinging. Got one little spot right there. Not a whole hell, a wholesale spot. It's just a, like you know, you get like a little pin spot. Pretty good shave. I say shaving with a piece of history. It it just uh, puts a smile on the face. I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, Sterling Unscented Methylated Witch Hazel. As it goes for the uh, the soap, how mentholated is the mentholated soap? Or uh, the way I kind of look at it is that it it's not over the top. It could be, um, I think for most folks, this is a doable thing, unless you're really sensitive to menthol. Um, when you're sensitive to something, you know, it is a flip of the coin on whether it's going to bother you or not. I for me, this one here is not an over the top. Uh, in other words, it's not like cryogen or 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 anything quite like that. That like that or cold fusion from wet to face. Even in other words, this is dialed down. Where uh, for some you know some folks can be able to use it. I don't feel that the menthol, at least for my nose, uh, I think it adds to the lemon to to help you know I guess you might say excite the senses. The lemon is what I smell up front, and then coming in and behind it would be the uh, menthol. I don't, in other words, I don't think the menthol is over the top on this one here. All right, this will be the first time go with the uh, Glacial Lemon Chill, and anything like uh, Sterling's previous uh, Glacial formulas, going to definitely smell the uh, or feel the uh, the effects of the menthol. Make sure I get plenty in there. I'll show you what the restrictor looks like here in a second. Definitely got that lemon right off, right out of the gate. I like lemon scented stuff. It, I just, it, it works well for my nose. If you're new to the channel, my nose is not the best in the world. Typically, on a number of mornings, which is most mornings. My nose is usually giving me fits and it takes me a moment before I get to the point where I can actually smell much of anything. Sometimes it's halfway through the day or maybe not at all during the day. But uh, but this uh, this definitely works well for my nose. That's what the restrictor looks like if you're unfamiliar with uh, what it looks like with uh, starting products. But uh, uh, all that lemon just, just makes for a great morning for me. I hope everybody's doing well. I, I had a great shave. Stay safe, stay healthy, and smooth shaves to you.